What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today we are back in the garage with the E92 M3 and I have a pretty exciting install today. This is the rear seat delete that I've been waiting on from PS Designs. They've been working on this for a few weeks now and it just showed up. If you guys have never heard of PS Designs, I highly recommend you check them out. And mostly what they do are club sport focused modifications. Things like GTS roll cages, GTS rear seat deletes. I'm gonna leave their link down in the description. Make sure you guys check them out and if you're interested in this rear seat delete, I will also have that linked down below. I am super excited to get this installed on this car. I've actually already removed the rear seats out of the car. Pretty easy, there's only a few Torx bolts. So I figured you guys probably wouldn't be too interested in that portion, but we're gonna go ahead and unbox the new rear seat delete, take a look at it and get started on the install. Let's do it. Cool, so he's got everything labeled here for all of the hardware, which is really nice. Individual bags, each kind of tells you what goes where. And then these are, I believe these are like the titanium valve stem caps. Nice man, thank you guys. All right, so we got all of the instructions here laid out. He made little drawings for me on each one. This right here is a GTS fire extinguisher mount. So I have a fire extinguisher coming as well from H3R Performance, but PS Designs actually sells the uh, GTS style mount. So you can get that as well. He sent over some little valve stem caps, pretty sick. If you take a look at the actual rear seat delete, this is sort of the mock-up, I'm assuming, just from kind of laying stuff out. So this is sort of the skeleton that goes underneath the seat portion and then you're gonna have a trim panel piece that goes right across here so this is very similar to how the actual GTS rear seat delete looks it has like a panel piece that goes across and then it also has one there and up top as well and that just sort of makes it look more clean and uniform it does make a uh, pretty big impact overall when you like look at the styling of the actual rear seat delete and that's sort of why I wanted to go with this one because the other ones just looked kind of like they were just thrown together like they didn't really look that that nice and I felt like this one was going to look the best and the most OEM out of all of them so that's kind of why I went for this one and I think we made the right call so this is all genuine Alcantara really really nice stuff wrapped in like a thinner wood and it's not too heavy either which was a, a big deal you don't want to add a bunch of weight back in there the rear seats do weigh quite a bit so we are gonna lose some weight as well um, then you have a trim panel piece right here this is for the actual back portion and then you have a Alcantara trim piece up there and then another their trim panel piece. So with the pole positions, unfortunately, I don't have enough room to uh, access the back. So I'm actually going to pull the driver's seat and then we're gonna hop in the back and I'll show you guys what we have and we can start installing everything and getting it laid out. And um, yeah, we'll just kind of take it step by step. And then I have some other little things I'll show you guys that I did with the back seat that sort of make a big difference just to make things a bit cleaner with the E92 M3 when doing a rear seat delete. <laughs> All right, the pole position is out. We finally have room to work in here. Fed one of my lights through the <laughs> sunroof so you guys can see what's going on. So yeah, like I was saying before, you know, to remove the rear seat, it's really simple. You have a Torx bolt right there. You have a Torx bolt on that side. For the lower portion, it all just pops right out. And then when you get to the center console trim piece, you'll notice that mine looks a little bit different. Basically with the E92 M3s, you have a center console in the rear. It's a divider between the two rear seats and it's a little console piece that has like a tray and everything. Now, obviously I wanted to delete that, but if you just remove it, basically this whole panel is just gonna be open. So what what I did was I ended up ordering an E90 center console rear section piece. I'll leave the part number and everything down below. I got this used off of eBay for, I think I paid 30 bucks or 40 bucks or something like that. But what that allowed me to do is just cap off the rear section. So it's not just like wires hanging out and it looks really clean. It also retains the vent. So this all still functions in the back and it just looks factory. Well, because it is factory, but I think that's gonna be the cleanest way um, and obviously the most appropriate way to sort of cap that off without making it look sort of janky. So in the rear we have all of this open now as I have removed basically everything. For the rear leather pieces I actually ordered black ones so I have used black leather pieces that will go there on each side just to kind of make it look a little bit better and for the seat belt we will just sort of tuck that up in there and zip tie it so it's nice and clean and that is it. The rest of this is going to be fitting the rear seat delete to the back. All right, 
Side pieces are in. Now we have this frame piece, and this is where the actual rear seat delete will um, sort of form and bolt up to this. So that's basically just like a little structural piece that goes underneath that they made. All right, so I'm working on the rear seat section right now. It's gonna be a very tight fit, and you want it to be very tight because you don't want things to move around or rattle. Basically, you make a V out of these two pieces. Once you get your cross brace on underneath, and then you slide them down together like that. So it's gonna feel like it doesn't fit, but it does fit, it's very tight. Um, and then once we have this tightened like this, we're gonna, we're gonna end up drilling into the uh, cross brace underneath the screws. Gotta remove these as well. Take these out. All right, so just to show you guys where we're at, we have the two lower pieces in. We have the structural frame underneath. So you see it's a little bowed up right now. That's because there's a lot of pressure pushing against this, but we want that. We want this to be a very, very tight fit. So what we'll do is we're gonna press down. I'm gonna measure equally across here. We're gonna have our frame screws up front. We're gonna have some in the back, and then we'll have a trim cover piece back there and the entire back piece. And just remember, you gotta take out the latches up top and the plastic piece and there'll be like a little finishing trim piece. So I originally thought that this didn't fit because the tolerance is really that tight. Like it is super, super tight. But the idea behind that is if it was any looser, it would rattle and make noises. So obviously you don't want it to make noise. But let's go ahead and start putting in our uh, frame screws and everything and get everything lined up. Okay, so I just finished everything. I had the GoPro in there, but of course it got too hot and died. <laughs> it's gotta be a hundred plus in this garage. But uh, yeah, I finished up the rear seat delete, man. Look at how freaking good this thing looks. So it's exactly like my M4 GTS. Like the whole, the whole rear seat delete is, is uh, just like that. It's two panels down here. It's one panel on the back, and then there's a trim cover piece in the back on the top and then you have these little like runners across here that go over there. I did trim this a little bit because it has a little rise with the E92 so I trimmed this back a little bit and the piece was just flat like straight so I did cut that a little bit but other than that man it, it basically just bolted right in. Just a lot of little screws and like moving things around. The only thing I'd say that isn't perfect with mine is that you can see the gray carpet back there but that's probably just because I have gray carpet in the back. I don't even know if they make Make black carpet for the back of E92s, but I would be interested in doing that. If not, I could just have like a little piece of Alcantara filled in there to make it kind of just flush and like look a little more seamless. But other than that, it's freaking solid, man. Like it looks so good. So PS Designs, when they make these rear seat deletes, they actually make them with cages. So I'll throw up an image right here and you can see with a cage. So basically, you know, there would be holes cut out for the cage and I kind of asked them like, hey, can we do one without a cage? So this is the first one with no cage. Kind of more of like a, I don't know, I guess a CSL type vibe. Um, but I think it looks really good, man. I'm, I'm super happy with it. This is also PS Designs, so everything just sort of flows really nicely. I'm like, oh man, it's, it's really coming together, man. This interior is really coming together. I'm super happy with it. This is the mount for the fire extinguisher. So that would go right there. And then you have this piece that goes on top. The GTS fire extinguisher actually goes right in here. So it just sits just like that, which is pretty sick. We'll end up running that at some point. I'm waiting for the extinguisher to get here and then I can install that piece. But overall, man, I don't know, like as far as rear seat deletes go, this is the cleanest one that I've found. All the other ones just look janky, dude. And this one looks so clean and seamless and OEM. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my pole position back in and then get things all tidied up. Take a look at it with all the seats in and everything. And yeah, should be good.
right, you guys, time to wrap up this video. It looks so good in the back with the seats and everything. Man, it really comes together. I love it. I think this is probably one of the better options in terms of rear seat deletes. It's got to be. Most importantly, there's no vibrations, no noises. Everything seems to be really tight. Just look at how good it looks. Once the GTS extinguisher comes, we'll put it right there. Looks really good. 10 out of 10, would recommend. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you like the video. If you're interested in buying anything from PS Designs, I'll have it linked down below. Huge shout out to those guys for sending this out, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.